Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Time for a new episode of The Royal Baby. And <laughs> you guys already got big drama. So let's go. I was mortified. Nanny just told the entire world I was pregnant with Felix's baby. Now all the Brazilian is expecting a second royal wedding. And though Felix was dead a bit by my side, my heart still belonged to Sebastian. A round of applause for the happy couple. Sebastian and I couldn't be more ecstatic. This is so messed up. What am I supposed to do now? Just smile and wave. That's all everyone wants a royal to do. Smile and wave. Consider it your new material. I'll play along. Really, this is too much. No applause. For Prince Hamil is a lucky man. I'll say, but which one? <gasps> my parents! Oh my gosh, what did my parents get here? They hear- Did they hear everything? I can't do this. You should have seen this coming. Why would you do that? Not only to me, but to Sebastian, to Felix. You deserve it. Now everyone knows I'm pregnant. Even my parents. I thought we were friends. Y you're right. We were friends. Until, until I found out you were, were a two-faced liar trying to steal my fiancé. You kissed him. I love Sebastian more than you ever will. That may be so, but it won't change a thing. Sebastian and I will be married. Listen, Nelly, I'm sorry for kissing Sebastian, but what we have is real. What you just have is politics. Is, isn't there probably just someone in your heart that wants more than that? What, what I want is Sebastian, and I will stop at nothing to get what I want. What in the hell is going on here? You're marrying a prince? And you're having a baby? How do you guys even get here? I'm pretty sure we're not the only ones with the explaining to do. Honey, why didn't you tell us you were pregnant? How did this happen? Did you really want to go into detail on that one? You know what I mean. It seemed like just yesterday you were in college filled with dreams. Having a baby doesn't mean I've given up my on my dreams. You went back to school after you had me. That's true, but I always wanted to have kids. I didn't expect it to happen so soon, and I'm sure I didn't think royalty would factor in the equation. But I figured it out. It doesn't change who I am or I want what I want. What about your future? What about law school? Having a baby doesn't mean that law school isn't an option. If I'm into the DI in a few years, I can enroll then. It's not exactly what we had planned. Does life ever really go according to plan? I always knew you were a smart kid. I know it's early, but I love this baby so much. If I had, if I have to raise it alone, so be it. No, no way. No way you'll be with. We will you be alone? Oops, sorry. Your dad and I make make great babysitters. Thanks, guys. That means a lot to me. Yes, your brother offered to babysit it, Snowden. But my hair will have a proper governess like his father before him. Excuse me, we're having a private conversation. It was hardly private. You make us sp speak at such a volume that it carries all the way down to the hall. Mom? Dad? This is Queen Anastasia. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Ahem. It's an honor to meet you, your highness. Screw the pleasantries. This sheet devil is why I'm stuck here. She's Sebastian's mother and Felix's stepmother, and she won't let me leave. Oh, really? Well, it was nice to meet you, ma'am, but it's about time we took our daughter home. The proper address is Her Royal Highness Queen Anastasia Alexandria, Duchess of Lambert and Courtness of Verdera. Okay. And going back to America is simply not an option. From one mother to another, I'm sure we can work something out. We're hardly the same. That you try to... In in syndicate as such, it is reason to have 
you thrown in shackles. You think you could toss us out, you, you smug blonde bejeweled harpy? That's enough! Felix, this whole thing is a mess. Do you actually intend to marry Caroline? Well, the idea is growing on to me. Especially if they keep her out of you and your mother's clutches. She's having my baby, Felix, and I demand if you, I don't help her raise it. I'm sure your fiancé will be thrilled to hear that. The truth is, brother, if the press catches you anywhere near Caroline, it's only a matter of time before the truth comes out. Maybe things should be better that way. Don't be naive. The, traces you back to, the truth traces you back to America, remember? Will you hunt around after you? Felix, don't you dare. It's just a common sense. The press will get to the bottom of your little expedition, unless... Unless what? Unless we give them the royal romans for their ages. Here's what I propose. You help me be girl Karen, and we all live happily ever after, scandal free. Never. I loved her. Well then, the press can expect a juicy tip from a royal insider. You destroy... You destroy the entire monetary? I never did compare for all this pomp and circus circumstances. It's your call, brother. Help me win, Caroline, or don't. But think carefully. All of the Brazilia canes in the balance. Mom, Dad, thanks for having my back, but I really need to handle. But I really need to handle this myself. You should handle them. I never seen such behavior. I have expect your mother to break into fiscus. Enough, Anastasia! Besides, I'm not going to anyone until I talk to Sebastian. Sebastian! So you're the man who knocked out my little girl. Sir, my apologies that we haven't been in properly introduced. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I spit on my iPad and I'm trying to clean it and I accidentally pressed twice. You too, Anastasia. Mark my words. Look, my words. Should you actually join this family? You and your good rat parents will be taught some manners. Hey! I seriously hate her! I want to slap her, honestly. But I can't, because I will punch the screen on my iPad. This whole thing has gone out of hand. Nanny has the press brain down next. One slip up and don't know any everything. And your grand exit didn't help. Did you expect me to stand in front of all those people and lie? I want nothing to do with Felix. I love you. Caroline, there's something you, I need to tell you about. About Felix. What is it? Help me with Caroline, Carol, or don't. But think carefully. All the Basilia hands in the balance. He's willing to court you. Maybe this is how it's meant to be. A girl to love now, and you'll find something worthy in Felix. Sebastian, what are you saying? If you don't plan on marrying my brother, you'll be better off so elsewhere. But what? What about what you said on a Terence? Did someone force you? I am the Prince of Bezilia. No one can bend my will. But we, what we had was nothing more than a dalliance. And a prince cannot marry a peasant girl. Pregnant peasant girl. Felix? I didn't think anyone would be here. I'll go. No, don't. Carol, don't leave, Caroline. I'm so sorry for, put, for all my family put you through. This has got to be the worst thing ever, that's ever happened to me. That's funny. Because I feel like the best thing that's ever happened to me. This might sound crazy, but... I think I'm in love with you, Caroline. Oh, yeah. Felix. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. It must be insane. This could ruin everything, but his lips are so soft. Felix, this isn't right, isn't it? I care for you, Caroline. If you can find it in your heart to return my feelings, I believe we could be very happy. Oh boy. We're in Anastasia.
And who may I ask might be you? Mm -hmm. Dear the boy and Spunder, it's rest, your highness. I have no patience for Tabla Father. Please, please escort this man from the princess immediately. Certainly, your highness. It's time to be on your way, sir. I know about Malcolm. You just got wind of the passing of my, of my eldest son. My, where did they find your gossip reporters, Ace? Sebastian, I know it was Sebastian. What about my son? Sebastian, the future king of Brasilia is, is a murderer. He killed his own brother. And you, your highness, tried to cover it up. That's absurd. It's the truth, and you know it. If you don't come clean, I'll do it for you. You wouldn't dare. Either you help me, or the story goes public. Thank you! Thank you! Can't wait to, to read the next episode, which, which is almost, I'm almost done. Four more episodes, and then I have to start a new story. Goodbye!